Now, the most important thing to keep in mind is, is the recognition aspect. Okay, so there are two registers, broadly speaking, in which we usually speak of the world and our place in it, right? One is the redistribution and the other is recognitional register. So we all pretty much understand the redistributional register, even if we have read our marks or not. Every time we talk about even distribution of resources, equitable re distribution of resources, equal access to education, equal access to healthcare, we are talking about redistribution, right? And we usually believe if we are Marxists, right? Or materialists that if we even out and equalize and redistribute the financial and other resources in a given society, somehow people would immediately be, be elevated and life would become better. And there's nothing wrong with that line of thinking. But what has been found out through research, and these are studies of the brain, also studies of human psyche, is that recognitional register is extremely crucial to identity formation. And what is the recognitional register? And that is, since identity is the prime mover of my actions, right? This identity being acknowledged through the gaze of the other, right? This recognition by the other of our humanity, our equal hum humanity is actually more important than redistribution. There's a famous debate uh, in a book uh, between Nancy Fraser, who talks about redistribution, and Axel Honneth, who talks about recognition being the prime motivator of human actions and identities. But whichever way you believe in, if you think slightly about your own experiences at the workplace, you know, in a classroom, you, you can, without deep research, acknowledge that being recognized is crucial to our mental health and it's crucial to our idea of self. I mean, think of it this way. Your boss might call you in his or her office and say, hey, our funding has been cut. I know you're a great worker and this year I probably cannot give you a raise. And you will understand that on a, on a redistribution register and you would not hold that against your boss. But if your boss calls you in our office and says, I don't have time to acknowledge what you have done. This is your job. You ought to do it. I practically do not care. That is withholding of recognition and it will hurt your identity and it will hurt you and it would make you depressed. That's how crucial, you know, recognition is, right? So then <clears throat> while talking about these things, Mark Bracker relies on recent studies of uh, the brain, consciousness, as well as psychoanalysis to pinpoint that there are three registers under which our identities are formed and stabilized. And these are the images register, the affective register, and the linguistic register. So if you briefly want to think about it, the images re register, of course, is the is the idea, our idea of self as to how it comes across, how it looks, maybe our body uh, and what we think it to be in the world, in the material form. The affective register talks about the feelings. How do we feel about certain things? How certain things make us feel? But the linguistic register is the most complex because that deals with the symbolic order, the <clears throat> how we exist in language, right? 